5.3 million views later. So that is how you get 5.3 million views. You have a mediocre thumbnail that for whatever reason people like to click because it has feet in it. And then you do everything wrong. Hey everyone, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today, we're actually gonna go back and look at one of my old videos and I'm gonna show you how I got 5 million views on a video. Now, you've probably seen this video before if you're actually watching this one because you're a fan of the channel so it probably suggested it to you ages ago. But if you haven't, if you go to YouTube and you type in snake method or snake method Weber grill, something like that, probably gonna be in the top few results. And so we're just gonna go through this and I'm gonna kind of break it down for you because it's actually a pretty terrible video, which is a large reason why it ended up doing so well. So let's go ahead and open this up. First off the bat, you're probably gonna notice the like to dislike ratio. It's not very good. It has 15,000 likes at this time and almost 8,000 dislikes, which is pretty incredible. And you're gonna see why it got so much hate. So if we play the video, yes, right off the bat, the very first thing that I do is show briquette charcoal, which if you know anything about barbecue, the barbecue community on YouTube will absolutely crucify you for using or for smoking, I should say, with briquettes instead of lump charcoal. So right off the bat, I'm already messing up within the first three seconds of this video, which is pretty great. So that gets a ton of hate and there's tons of comments uh, below saying, don't use briquettes, it's terrible, it's gonna give you cancer, there's all kind of stuff in it. So you can see me dumping in the briquettes here and a lot of people also hated on the fact that it's like evidently the snake was way too OCD for some people. I don't care, I wanted a very neat looking snake. Okay, so now that's good enough. You don't want it to touch, obviously. So here I am just building the snake, speeding it up. I already know like the cardinal sin is, is coming up very soon. <laughs> The intent of this video was to just show this snake method. Another huge mistake on my part. These coals in the middle are the ones that I'll actually start the fire with. I'll just light these up. Once they get good and going, I'll put them over here, um, put the top on, put the vents, try to get the temperature, put a tin in the bottom to catch fat. But I'm not gonna do any of this until tomorrow morning. I just wanted to set this- I will say I did learn a ton from getting crucified in the comments, so Bullying absolutely works. <laughs> this helped me get my start in barbecue and was very helpful, hurtful and helpful. Oh, here it is, yep. Okay, so I'm using lighter fluid. There's probably hundreds of comments. Uh, there's 2,500 comments. I would bet 50% of them are criticizing the lighter fluid. Man, my hair was short. <laughs> Again, the grilling community is going to crucify you if you use lighter fluid. Now, in my defense, I did use lighter fluid on a few briquettes to get them going. And certainly all that lighter fluid burned off by the time that I actually went to smoke the meat. But man, you are not supposed to use lighter fluid according to the barbecue community. I have since switched. Again, I learned the bullying worked. I switched over to a little heat gun that I now use. In fact, you can check a video out that I did on that, but I now use a heat gun or fire starter, but I do not use lighter fluid anymore. I'm not a master griller or smoker. And I even say right here, I'm not a master griller or smoker, so ignore what I'm doing with the meat. <laughs> Probably the other half of the comments have to do with the ending. And I try to make it clear that don't pay attention to what I'm doing with the meat. I'm just specifically showing you this snake method. Oh, another dumb thing. I soaked the wood chips, which is uh, now that I've learned it's basically worthless. So at this point, I fully believe that those coals that I just joined up to the snake, all that lighter fluid, that starter fluid is all gone. So it doesn't even matter. But a lot of people think I disagree with them, but they think that putting meat over black charcoal is bad. 
So they would want all the charcoal ashed over before you put the meat on. I don't really ever do that. I smoke in my Kamado Joe now with lump charcoal and start a small portion of it and let it burn its way through with no issue. That is a pathetic amount of wood chips as well. I was trying to use the boiling water to preheat that water so that the fire didn't have to do that work. I don't do that anymore. I don't even use a drip. I don't, I do not do a water bath in my drip pan anymore. Pretty good smoke. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I'll link it below, but prevents me from having to come outside all the time. What I've kind of been told, and I don't know if this is 100% correct, but you want the vents on top to be kind of the opposite of where the fire is so that the smoke has to travel across. All right, let it come up to temp. So we're just over 250, which is a little, a little too hot for what I want. So we're gonna shut, over shut the vent, but we're gonna throw the brisket Classic. on anyway. put it away from the coal. Sometimes you can even use a little piece of aluminum foil to kind of shield it from that direct, direct heat. Um, I'll keep it on here. At yeah, so I actually did another video using this thing called, I believe the dragon stone, because with this method, it, this is a great method. I still like this method, have used it, have done a bunch of other cooks with it. Um, but that direct heat, because it's so small, it's really hard to not get direct heat, especially on a brisket, because the brisket is so large. Um, but this dragon stone like stops all the direct heat. It's really cool. You can check that video out as well. 210, 200 degrees almost the entire time. Our meat is at 143 degrees now. Oh, we didn't have cabinets or anything. We're gonna wrap it in foil. Oh, our house, this is three years ago. Right around 200. Oh. Let's see how she looks. Tons of comments criticizing me saying too hundy. Oh yeah, coming right along. These are coals right now. You can see how they've snaked That's coming along there. okay. So I definitely need to move this in when I put it back on. There's barely any rub on that thing it looks like. Right now. Yeah, because our heat is right here currently. So I'm gonna pull it off, wrap it in foil, and go from there. Oh, our house. So this is, I'm wrapping this in foil. This is horrific. This is so bad. Normally when you wrap, you want the bark already set before you wrap. This is like hours, but there's no bark on that whatsoever. It's basically raw. The fire has snaked around <laughs> to this side. I'm gonna knock some of these coals down. There's too many coals. That'll get way too hot. So now it's gonna heat up big time. Moved my probe to over there away from the fire. Uh, so let me move some of these coals, put the top back on and it's gonna finish cooking very quickly in that foil with no bark whatsoever. Close to 300. I just adjusted everything. Oh, I also got a haircut between the beginning and now. Side to wrap it in foil. That's gonna get the fire really, really, really hot because I left the top off, got a ton of oxygen in there. Um, so it's really hot right now. So close up the vents a little bit more than usual just to try to get the temperature back down and then I'll come back out and open them up a little bit. So I'll be monitoring that closely inside. As you can see right now, we're chasing temperature. Oh, we don't even have that tree anymore in the backyard. Of the brisket over here. And this temperature is reading about 300. This is great. Side. Close it up, sorry for the wind. Close it up, let it come down open it up slightly, try to get back to my 225. Pretty big temperature gradient. This, I also got a bunch of comments, people being like, why are you even smoking in a Weber? Just buy a smoker. The whole point was to show you that before you go out and buy a smoker or any other grill, try this. See if you can actually smoke in the grill that you have being that the Weber is so popular. Six, it was four, yeah, six hours. And, um, this is what our coals look like, so you can see our first part of our snake just totally... I didn't keep track of time. Almost all the way to the end there, if you can see the glow. Um, nice and wrapped up. We've got, we, I think we were at 194. So that's right, right where we want to be. So now I'm just going to pull it off, let it sit for a couple hours, and 
see how we did. <laughs> okay. So the video is over. The um, the suggested videos are now coming up on screen. And this probably maybe more than 50% of the comments are like, dude, you did not show the end result. This is unbelievable. Now, in my naivety, when I did this, I was like, I'm just going to do the video showing how to do the snake method. Has nothing. Who cares about the brisket? I'm just showing you that you can line these coals up and do this in a Weber and have consistent temperature and whatnot. All the while, I'm just like, I don't need to show this. And it was three years ago at Easter, I had cooked this and then I believe I brought it over to my parents' house and we ate it. So I didn't wanna bring like a camera or anything over there and try to film me cutting into it. I didn't have pictures, anything. So when I was editing it, I thought to myself, well, it's about the snake method, not necessarily the brisket. I don't have footage or pictures, so I just won't put it. Release the video. It got like no views for three months. And then for whatever reason, the YouTube algorithm picked it up and it exploded. And in one weekend, it got a couple hundred thousand views, which is huge to me in a weekend. And just, oh my goodness, I've never gotten that many views again on a video ever in that short amount of time. But all the hate, the people just be, you know, make, rightfully so, rightfully so. I did a ton of things wrong, I learned, but I will say bullying works, man. And also I was so surprised that this thumbnail is so successful. The click-through rate was pretty high. Maybe people have a foot fetish or something, but it's not very good at all. It just says snake method has a, a Weber grill with some charcoal in my feet and that's it. Evidently, a lot of people out there like to click on it and they stuck around the whole time because they wanted to see the end result, which of course makes sense. I'm doing the snake method and you wanna see what kind of brisket it can produce. Overall, I did a horrible job, but this video and the comments taught me a lot and spurred me on to learn way more. And in fact, the best part is all this hatred and the comments and stuff actually funded my ability to get a Kamado Joe, which was awesome. So I was able to learn from this and uh, just move on uh, with some success. It was really, honestly, great experience for me. The harsh comments don't bother me at all. I actually kind of love it. And uh, yeah, 5.3 million views later. So that is how you get 5.3 million views. You have a mediocre thumbnail that for whatever reason, people like to click because it has feet in it and then you do everything wrong and then you don't show the end product. Man, follow that equation and you'll have a successful video on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this look back at uh, one of my most popular videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time.